Good evening, and welcome to the uh, Sunderland Select Board. The, <laughs> the Sunderland. You want to start over? I would like to. Yes. It, it, this is the kind of thing we we've devolved into just chaos here already. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the Select Board meeting of Sunderland, dated uh, 10th of July, 2017. And first up on our agenda, we have Officer Peter Scoble. <laughs> and. Uh, to uh, discuss our the ratification of our new police union contract. I see they all ran right up to help out. As, as our representative of the union. <laughs> How are you? I'm good yourself. All right, thanks. So what's up? Um, looking forward to uh, signing our, our agreement tonight. Forgive my uh, fancy outfit. It was that, great that's all right. not to ride in tonight. I ride a bike. So, uh, Yep. I wasn't going to wear a shirt and tie for uh, evening. That's okay. Summer There's no dress code. Summer evening motorcycle uh, ride. Um, uh, I think that this is the third um, contract that we've done under the current um, format that we that yep, we've been for using negotiations. So, um, and I think it's gotten it worked well the first time, and it's gotten better each time. Um, I always uh, appreciate the. Uh, the, the, the town has always been uh, a fair negotiator, and I think that the uh, um, the opportunity to be heard uh, from our side, I think from both in both directions, is uh, has been nobody nobody's ever complained on either okay. side that we haven't had the opportunity to be heard. Uh, we've good. we've all uh, we we spend probably more time than we need to talking about a lot of issues, <laughs> um, but we. We, we um, there's no there's, there's no, details. That's not a complaint. There's no there's yeah. no uh, uh, complaint whatsoever um, that there wasn't an opportunity to discuss each of uh, our proposals. Yeah. Uh, and in the past, proposals from from uh, from both sides uh, thoroughly. Um, I think um, uh, this. Uh, this contract is, uh, I, had, I had no problem um, uh, ratifying it and um, uh, selling it to my members that, that I represent. Um, uh, I, think, I think that uh, Scott and uh, the chief uh, and the administrator all represented the town quite well. And uh, um, I think that I do the best I can as you know, yeah. to represent my members uh, as best I can. Sometimes I say the same thing each time. Sometimes it's like two circles, and sometimes both those circles overlap, and we have uh, combined interests. And uh, sometimes the interests of our members are don't overlap. That, and that happens. That's sometimes. that's yeah. where the negotiation and, and the uh, time uh, that it takes to hash these things out comes into play. But I think that we. Uh, I think we have a good agreement as with the last two, um, but they, you know, they didn't. Um, we work. We, we we play nice together. We we worked well together. We worked hard on it, I and I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to say. I think both sides would agree. I don't want to say that it was, um, you know, not work. I mean, we worked pretty hard, uh, uh, you know, to to come to agreement and. Uh, um, so I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, and, and last thing that mm -hmm. comes to mind is that uh, this is the first time I think, um, leaving aside the, you know, the formality of the signing, that we actually came to agreement over a month before yeah. the expiration of the contract, the first time in, uh, you know, it, which is common, right. we know that. Yeah. It's common elsewhere, it's, com it's happened here. And it's never been a problem, um, but it's kind of it's kind of nice that we planned it uh, in such a way that we began and finished essentially right on time. Good. And it's good, like you said, that the process is actually improving and getting better, which you don't often hear, and you certainly don't often hear people say that about any kind of government. So, <laughs> you know, I, I mean, it, it's good that it's getting better for everybody, I which is a good thing. Yeah, um, I definitely want to thank you for. Your third year of 
you know, plugging away at it. And obviously you guys too, but you know what I mean, from the sure, town's perspective. I, I, I personally certainly appreciate it, and I'm sure the town does too. I think it's, it's been, and you guys have all done a great job on it. So. If, if I could, yeah. Mr. Chair, yes. um, just to uh, push back a little bit on what <clears throat> Pete said. We, we, we do talk a lot, but it's always about something that's sub substantive, like yeah. structural changes in a work agreement that's a triennial work agreement take time to understand where the history is, how it got to that work agreement. Yep. You know, they're triennial uh, living documents. And in the document that I hope the board uh, votes to ratify, votes to accept tonight, uh, includes some structural changes. This is the second contract in a row that have had structural changes. You know, oftentimes we get caught up in the retail side of contracts. That's what percentages are there? You know, how much vacation did Scott get or whatever? There's structural changes in here that help both the association, the members, our town employees, which is the way that really, we really should be referring to, to all of them. Um, it shows respect for their concerns on things like equipment uh, versus protective equipment. Uh, our education incentive, uh, again, we're migrating as a commonwealth is away from the Quinn bill, and we continue to push that education incentive. Those education incentives were enhanced this year. At the same time, um, the association brought forward a very creative idea about um, steps. We used to simply have five. Yeah. Quick, yeah. year five, you were at the top step. And it took some time to work around the uh, longevity. And that was, I think, I think the process benefited from its structure in that we don't go in that room with attorneys. We go yep. in that room collaboratively. And the attorneys check it off. Don't get me wrong; they have midpoints as well. No, but but, it, but right, it, the, the fact that you're not relying on them from right. the get. So an, an idea can good. germinate uh, and be fully explored. And uh, in my experience with uh, Pete and the uh, full-time officers, also on the team and the chief, uh, that's been the benefit to this. The town will benefit from this as well, from you know stable employment, low turnover, yep. all of those things that are key indicators to. Uh, both what's maturing and a maturing agency. We, we have, age, you know, soon to be 15 years, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we don't have too many turnover um, that are full time. Yeah, that's true. That's so true. I, I'd just like to point that out as well. <coughs> May I? Uh, I was His more, meeting this time. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I was more referring to um, uh, some of the discussions that uh, not, not all of, all of the uh, discussions around the issues that you just talked about were not what I had. I was more talk, well, I was talking about, uh, and, and again, it's not a complaint. It's just um, uh, we talked a lot about scheduling for example. and and so you, you, we it, it's it seems that it just seems to me that um, I, I, it, it was point, just actually. a fleeting comment. Yeah. I didn't mean. No, 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 we no, were, no. Yeah. Okay. No, on the contrary. No, I think I think. It means that we were wasting time. No, right no, 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 okay. no. On the contrary, I, I was yeah. when I when I said push back was I made it tongue, <laughs> I tongue in cheek. No, okay. The hard and fast reality is when you see. sit down with the department head in this case you're the chief and and the uh, and then a chief negotiator for the association you learn a lot and the first thing you do is you, you learn to listen and you learn to cooperate and you learn to bring your ideas and be forceful when you need to be and it's a really good working environment. Uh, that's good. That's and. God bless the attorneys, and we yeah. and we need them, but um, hopefully not that much. <laughs> you only need them when you need them, right? Right. And I've always said, you know, starting 12 years ago, there's no reason why employees and employers shouldn't be able to talk to each other without being flanked by Boston lawyers. They can they can they can approve everything that we do, and and the quality I think of the work that we put in and the time that we put into this contract um, is reflected in the fact that very little um, comes back from our side and yours. That's a good point, actually. Uh, as far as modifications or recommendations from the attorneys. Very right. technical, little things as far as... Um, words matter. So Yeah, and, and, right. and we're pretty good with words before yes, the attorneys right. ever review it, but, but, but they, you know, their input is very important. But again, I don't, I don't think... Um, I, I appreciate the fact that we're doing it that way, and I think it works well. It may not work well in Springfield, Northampton, Amherst, or anything else, but it works well for us. And, and that's the important thing in the end. And it's a testament to 
you know, the, the discussion you had in me is a testament to the care that's put into it. You know, th these aren't like back and forth arguments. It's people sitting down trying to craft a good working agreement and everything, and, it, and it's a good thing. And we understand each other's roles, I think, very well. We understand uh, where the other's coming from and, you know, do respect and, and, and deference across the table. It just goes miles, and that's why I think we have a... Yeah. Mr. Chair, if I could think. Yeah. So, the one thing, uh, I think when you change affiliation, um, a lot of things changed with your union affiliation. Yeah. I think m more important, um, in the past, um, my tenure with the, the two different chiefs that we've had, now we have a third, when there's ever been a question about whatever, we said, what's in the contract? And know your contract. And if, and, and if you follow the contract, um, and, and I would, I would, one thing I would say with this last mm -hmm. two or three mm -hmm. cycles is that you, ne you can never downplay the, the um, monetary part of the contract, but I will remind our listening viewing audience that the police department union took zero increase right. mm -hmm. um, at time also so they, they've helped they've been working with the town but I think the contract negotiations have been more I, I would say um, manageable because you guys have con you have concentrated on what's important to you not that money is not important but I think your work uh, place the rules in your workplace how things are carried out are very important I think that's what you con concentrated on and I'd like to, to say I think that's important I, I think I think that's what separates sometimes I think unions forget that that what goes on in the everyday how we do business every day is important as well and I think I, you guys are I, I couldn't agree more and, and, and the, our members will tell you that I actually say we just I this is uh, well, but paraphrase, uh, wages and benefits are second to me. I've said that since the day I got here, and they'll tell you that. Everything else, work conditions, security, things that have to do with uh, um, yeah, you know, all the things that you're talking about. If you guys have first. a problem, if, 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 if you don't know, if the, you, if the contract doesn't f tell us how to figure it out, we usually figure it out in the next, con the next negotiation. Right. Right. We, we, and and I, I think that's how a contract works. And I think you guys have been doing a good job about that. If we have a problem, you, we get over that problem, and we, we commit to addressing it in the contract. And it, it's worked very well. Yeah, I think so. I agree. And kind of back to the point you made, not only, I mean, you know, you, you're represented by a union, but in the end, you are town employees. That's you really know what I mean? Important. And that's, that's a really important thing. You know, you shouldn't feel like you're some kind of standalone, separate. No, you no, know, no. Because that's, that's imp I, it's important that we all feel, especially with, you know, a lot of the, back and forth stuff that you see in the media and everything. It's important to, for everybody to feel, you know, that we're all part of the same community. And I think that's important. And it's, it's been good. I, I, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. Scott, do you want to review the uh, high points of the contract? Yeah, if I could. So it's, it's again, it's a triennial, a three-year three -year contract. I think uh, the um, couple of language changes that are important was the expansion of the definition of uh, protective equipment to include all equipment. If anybody has seen officers uh, in and around the, the municipality, uh, you recognize there's a lot of equipment that's hanging on their body, and, and that equipment is something that the town the town uh, has had a reimbursement policy for, and that's really, really important. Um, the Something as simple as the blocks of time required accumulated for uh, accumulating vacation time after a five-year block, there was a big gap between five and then the next block um, with a maximum cap of 240 hours, uh, 240 days total. The cap has not changed, but after that year five, we, we developed language, then creatively, to simply add a day per year like of cool continued system. appointment, uh, continued yeah. employment. That was really, really important as well. Mm -hmm. So the sense was that people who are mid-career kind of got hung a little bit in limbo. And then, you know, big accumulation toward, uh, an accumulation as, as the year's, year threshold was eclipsed. Um, with respect to the number of steps, uh, the number of steps was a win-win, I think, is a great example of collaborating. The, the steps were topped out at near five. 
and then we only talk about colas, etc. We, we dropped a, a step at the bottom, added a step at the top, but added years in service in the left-hand column. So steps are accumulated with some time stretching it out to get to the maximum. So in that, in that sense, the town, the town uh, has, um, in that sense, we both, we both, uh, both groups win uh, quite, a, quite well. And then if I could, probably the, the last points, um, um, additional step salaries, we have 3% per year across all three years. Um, but you know, part-time help uh, doesn't move across steps. Mm -hmm. And so in the last year of implementation here, as the steps scales, and I want to circle back to this for just one moment, uh, the part-time help uh, got an extra percent in the third year of the contract. That reason is the union, uh, the association agreed to implement this contract over all three years in that step range. The risk is as we have a, as we have a, a, a senior or a more mature uh, workforce, if you implemented this on day one, you could have everybody really migrate across the table quickly. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, the association was very flexible in implementing, recognizing the, the, the growth, the revenue, and I'll circle back to this as well, the growth and revenue the town can actually uh, calculate and we can actually spend. And so they, they agreed and I, I give high praise to them for implementing across all three years. So all three, at the, the end of year three, the new schedule is in place in total across the workforce. If I could circle back about information sharing, there isn't, there isn't uh, one of these negotiations where we don't put out uh, the town's finances and the, the association is it's very clear about that information being being helpful not necessary to the negotiation but being helpful in where our position starts from and that's you know measures of, of affordability over time because in the end although it's a work agreement we still have to be able to afford a police force mm -hmm. yeah. when that's all said and more. done um, Pete any of the high points I missed again equipment definition head incentives um, but, uh, I only uh, I, I don't know yeah. I don't want to step on your toes or anything, but the the, the significance of the of the, the steps and the time that we it's put into deal. it and it, it expands uh, by it more than doubles the duration. That right. in other words, instead of being completely front loaded, it's sort of front loaded. Mm -hmm. It's half front loaded by three years, but it's they're, they're it up more even. out to twelve years from yeah. five to twelve years to, uh, of full time officers having. It's significant, I think, in uh, future. Um, I'm starting with a brand new recruit that we right, have like growth now, but any other future hires, because you are going to face retirements at some point. You have two officers, full time patrol officers that are 20 plus years now. Um, so, um, looking forward for the town, I'm being a salesman now, but uh, looking forward to <laughs> the town, okay. the, that the plan that we worked out being uh, uh, having step incentives uh, over uh, uh, ten, they're basically uh, 12 years a, a, a mode of yeah from 5 to, tw to 12 years so in, st in the in the latter three years having a few years in between steps instead of working right, right. through you know the idea being there's uh, there's value in um, having uh, steps it, it, ten, 10 years is a uh, experience full time experience is a little more valuable than Five and rather than that, you right. get the idea. Yeah. yeah. But the but the that that total duration, you know, I, I still recall like the idea of having a few years front loaded, try to get you know somebody um, instead of attracting and retaining, you know, right. in the beginning, and once they're over that initial hump, spreading it out a little bit, having something to look, having steps to look forward to, and, and spreading it from five to twelve years in, in this agreement, I think is good for uh, the future. You know. Probably in 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 contracts as a, as a you know as a model for as a framework yeah because that five five year boom 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 has been has existed in the contract as long as I've been here and longer and and I think that this is much better yeah. I think this is much better there was a lot of discussion uh, in our in our meetings as this particular item was was kicked around and explored and, and vetted about kind of mid-career. At, at what point, in, in, if, some, if you're going to retain someone across their entire career, at what point does, does the mid-career take a precedent? Because you're not just looking at, um, you're not just looking at the longevity in, in years in service, but you know, where is that incentives from 
eight, nine, thirteen, fifteen. You know, where is that? Yeah. And it wasn't in the old structure. Yeah, that makes sense. And, and you got to adapt the structure over right. time too. So it's good. All right. Get, any other questions, Tom? Right? What's up, Tom? Uh, do you want to have the honor of making a make motion? a motion to uh, ratify a police union contract? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. We're zero, zero on that one, Sherry. All right, and we've got pens and stuff up here to sign with, so. I'm sure those meetings were very short. Never yes, got quick. off track, huh? <laughs> Let's see, you just spent the half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, yeah, it takes time to discuss. Talking that about kind of not talking. Yep. <laughs> uh, you know, the, the other thing, another thing is the ske the scheduling of the meetings uh, was, uh, you know, it, it worked well for both of us yep. because, um, you know, beginning of your day, the end of my, the, just the overlap and the timing, the, we never had to really. Go Did back and forth about scheduling. I totally missed one. We told me this time one. Yeah. Texting, are you coming? I said, it's tomorrow, isn't it? Oh, that <laughs> happened. But, but, no, 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 I wasn't even. Same yeah. one. It was, it was like, it's right now. Is it's, that one? Is that one? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. uh, but uh, other than that, <laughs> it, it worked yeah. out quite well. That uh, you know, that's good. Available to me at times. So I appreciate that. Yeah, that's tough trying to schedule meetings just in general sometimes. Yeah. The, the, the total impact the of the right town. The total impact of the town over the over the triennial will be somewhere in the thirty-seven thousand dollar range. Okay, we'll go to of course well, of the of contract. Yeah. Mind if I have no? If Brenda I ask Brenda to sign as yeah, well, yeah, just yeah, to, the, the two we're sort of a uh, um, team, equally. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, uh, yep. We could have you could have the whole department sign. We don't yeah. care. Yeah. <laughs> and that kind of gets back to Brenda look, and I are the only. Comments that we made too about trying to take the, by the <laughs> take as many unknowns out of the budgeting process. So as we'll get the uh, what you'll see is that the, the, there's a space for the accountant to sign before yeah. we sign before yeah. any of anything right becomes official. Me. The accountant signs and says that the availability of funds, and also one copy will be given to the uh, one copy will be given also to the. Uh, the town clerk who will keep it on. So if anybody wants to see the contract, yeah, they, they yeah. just go to the count. And we have pretty, I mean, it's pretty clear. Every contract that we sign is, should be a copy. Mm -hmm. I referenced it on the website more than once. But I was, uh, we have a, you know, chair. But if I had to look for something at home or whatever, I pull online now. Yeah, easy. Like, oh. Peter. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Yeah, no, I look at that. Thanks, man. Oh, good night. Yeah. The opportunity to be heard. Chief, did you have fun? Great time. <laughs> I learned a lot. Any plugs for public safety you want to make while you're here? No, no. you know, it's an opportunity, you know? <laughs> Just say it. Uh, that's good. You know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. All right. Next on our agenda, we have Daniel Olanik. That's what it says here right near the agenda. Come on down. That's what it says. That's what it says. We're back. The official. Yep. And we've had some stuff um, back from our town council on this, right, Sherry? Too. Um, So I'll, I'll read, maybe it's probably a good thing to read the first section from our town council here, I think. Do you have any opening comments or anything you want to? Um, wait, like, wait now what you guys have to say. All right. Because, um, you know, we pay all those lawyers for something, so we may as well get some information out of them once in a while, right? Um, <clears throat> they said they took a look at all the information uh, and in their opinion that uh, you, if you'd like a three-year permit, you have to, we would have to go to the Zoning Board of Appeals um, based on the current regulations to get something for a three year because right now we're set for like a one year maximum on that. So you would have to go to the, the zoning board for that. And I can read like the reasoning behind it. It says if granted, 
<clears throat> since I took a look at all the information sent over, and in my opinion, if Mr. Atlantic would like a three-year permit, he would need a variance from the Zoning Board of Appeals. Since the zoning bylaw specifically states, one, if granted a temporary permit by the selectmen, a mobile home or mobile structure may be occupied incidental to the construction of a permanent structure on the premises for a period not to exceed one year. It appears that the owner would first need a variance from the one-year provision of the zoning bylaw before the Board of Selectmen can issue a three-year permit and enter into an MOU. So, so that would be the case there. I'm confused by that because okay. Steve, the chairman of the zoning board, said that they didn't feel they needed to be involved in that at all. It, what, what, because it's a bylaw, Dan. Yeah. And basically, what you're not asking, you would not ask them for a special permit. You'd be asking them for a variance. Right. Okay. So a variance, a variance is, a variance is a, a whole different. Okay. No, um, I, I, I different know, level. I know the, I know now, the ju just so you know, th this is, and I'll give you a copy of what we wrote, but this is how we addressed to the uh, the lawyer. Okay. We said, Dear uh, David's our town council, uh, Daniel Lanick met with the board last week to discuss his request for a three year permit to locate a camper on his property in Sunderland while he is building his home. We enclosed a detail that you had provided. Mm -hmm. The board is open to the possibility provided that it does not violate any town bylaws and that Mr. Atlantic enters into an agreement with the town <coughs> that is d clearly defined his timeline, which we discussed. Mm -hmm. The board requests that Mr. Atlantic furnish the timeline for this project and that a formal agreement be drafted. Mr. Mr. Atlantic has submitted a project timeline and we're requesting your assistance to deal to draft the MOU. So, I mean, our, 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 well, it's interesting how, and I, I read read a note to the attorney for a very important reason. Mm -hmm. How how you make the request mm -hmm. can determine how yeah. something's written back. Yep, and I frame. and I want to thank Sherry for the wording. The wording is exactly how we wanted it done. And that well, you got the essence because what we want, what we said is that we thought we we would be very open to allowing this to occur if it could happen. Mm -hmm. And and that's how we actually submitted the request to the town council. Okay. Um, so what they're they're saying is that if to, because we have a bylaw, the only way that it can be superseded is through a variance from the zoning board, okay. the zoning board of appeals. So you wouldn't be getting a special permit; it would be a a variance. Okay. Correct. Unfortunately. Okay. And that variance isn't necessarily about the two structures. That's captured in the law. It's the duration. Correct. And that, that's all we're talking about is the duration. Right. The time right. <clears throat> so you're looking at longer than the one year that's right. in the bylaw. And and you can talk with with, with Steve, but there, there <clears throat> and Scott, you have a very good point. It's really important. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, a very it important is. point. So you're not at. So you're you're. So they they look at uh, conformity and the length and monetary. So that all comes into play with a with a uh, variance. Okay. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. I know. <laughs> Just time. Know. Yeah. We, yeah. Right back to the ZBA. Yeah. And 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 and, and uh, we've worked over the the years to try try to build a uh, in our back of the books we have a policy and procedures guide, and and what we found is that. Um, a lot of times, residents they want they want you to be consistent. They don't want to they they want they want to know that their board is going to be consistent, and it's not you don't rule by willy nilly. Oh, I understand that. So that's, I mean, it makes so sense. that's what we're trying to do. I just I, I pers personally I think personally I think taking that barn down and putting a home back there is the greatest thing. Oh, I know. <laughs> uh, believe me, it's been. Uh, I'm. Sh I bet yeah. you it's been a. It's been, uh, a it's been the on my side for longer than you know. Ever. <laughs> I have press speakers, so I I know how long they've been out of business. So. Well, they're. He's still around. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's been a lot of there's been a lot of traffic in and out of that building, and there's been a lot of repairs that were done temporarily. Yeah. Just to get by, and they're all catching up with me. So. It's time. That is a way of happening. Yeah, it's time. Yeah. yeah. 
but. All right, if I could right. get a copy of that. Yeah, there you go. Excellent. I will do that. And I guess I'll be talking to Steve again. All right. Thank you, Dean. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. So Have a good night. Thanks for coming in. Thanks. Good luck with the project and everything. Uh, thanks. Let's see. Uh, next up, we have our minutes from our last meeting. Wait a minute. Sarah Schneider was in the last meeting. I know. It seems like <laughs> last week. <laughs> <laughs> motion. We see each other a lot. I'll second the motion. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Two to zip on the minutes. Um, do we, I think maybe, let's see, hold on. Maybe since Sarah's here. Did you have anything on, that you were here for special too, or are you just taking in the whole excitement? Um, with the North Plain Road recommendation. Okay, that's right, okay, all right. Um, you want to do yours before we get to our Board of Selectment updates and things? How's that? Yeah. I mean, unless you want to hear us talk some more, we could. I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm here on behalf of the Community Pathways Committee to uh, request your uh, stamp of approval on a, our proposal for a Massachusetts Park Grant. Uh, the The deadline is Wednesday. It has to be overnight mailed tomorrow um, and we have if if you approve we have some pieces of paper for you all to sign I've heard that um, so um, I'll just update you on where we've come since yeah. the last I was last year um, the the pathways committee we had a great meeting David attended and Sherry and um, Jim Williams was there as well um, and um, our landscape architect Carlos Nieto uh, we decided to call the park Sunderland Riverside Park for now kind of makes a bookend with the Riverside Cemetery and the Riverside Park and our dream is one day to have a trail between the two um, but um, we're that that's not etched in stone yet we're reserving the right to change that eventually but we're calling it that for now uh, we decided to um, go for uh, we're eligible for four hundred thousand dollars but the committee decided um, to go for basically half of that of, of, uh, kind of more modest proposal uh, so our we're proposing a project with a budget of two hundred and ninety five thousand dollars and this would be for um, a uh, accessible trail all the way around the entire property. So along the river bank, around the uh, playing fields, uh, a new entrance on um, the east side of the town office building where we are now, um, and uh, uh, signage. A picnic area, um, an overlook um, at the on the riverside, and uh, like a deck kind of overlook, looking out at the view of Sugarloaf, um, and some new trees and plantings and shrubs. Um, so uh, the the this this grant is one it's a reimbursement grant will, where we will be reimbursed 68 percent of all of our costs and that means that the town if with a 295,000 budget the town the our match will be 95,000 we already have 20,000 of that in hand from the the previous <coughs> CPA grant that we got for the river trail so we've already got 20,000 we can put toward that so we're going to be looking for another 75,000 in matching funds um, so a couple things the, there there's a lot of bureaucracy around this grant and um, been working really hard to get a big fat folder to meet all the bureaucratic requirements. The, the park grant process. Yes. Yeah. 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 
Um, one of them is that we have to have a um, approval by town meeting prior to the end of this calendar year instead of the fiscal year. And that means that we would have to have a special town um, meeting. And um, we have a draft warrant article that I think you have seen. Um, that in the, in the draft warrant article, the town meeting will need to vote to appropriate the full amount of the roughly 295,000 um, contingent on getting the grant. Um, this, so we're going to be uh, appropriating the full amount. The normal CPA site, we're planning to request that $75,000 in additional matching funds from our CPA funds. But they, there isn't, that's, we're, we'd be out of the standard right. cycle. We may, I, we can request that they, that, that the Community Preservation Committee consider this request outside of their annual cycle. I can't guarantee that's going to happen. So right. it's a possibility that we're going to have to have a special town meeting, request an appropriation for these matching funds without a guarantee yet that, that the Community Preservation Committee is going to approve them. So I just, I wanted to make you aware of that and see how you feel about that. Uh, we were for 12:31 December 31st for the correct probably something else that we could probably put on the agenda I would imagine but, yeah. hmm. any thoughts on it Tom or? um the access on the east side of the building I think that when we do when we designed the uh, veterans memorial it was a lot of thought put into where that to, to and we lose and we lose part of what we established with the Veterans Memorial. So now you had a place of reflection and you turn it into a place that cars are going by. I I wouldn't support that. I, I think the town made a, I mean, the town made a, we spoke volume. I mean, we, we had a lot of work mm -hmm. that went involved with that to get it over there. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I would support that right now. Um, any other? Um, no, not as far as the process goes. Okay. The design, the design, the design is certainly an area, an area that can be impacted. But as far as the process goes, Sarah, is the uh, design contingent on funding, or is the design settled on? The design part is of the conceptual at this point. I mean, yeah, the right. can Hasn't be made. Been. Yeah, the only thing is, uh, I mean, uh, this is the. First that we've had all these public hearings yeah. and so, and this is the first time I've heard any um, objection to that entrance. We, uh, I'm not quite sure what to do because we, the proposal, we have to finish it tomorrow. Okay. Um, we, the committee voted to include that as one of the elements. Um, and, uh, we hadn't heard any objection before now to that, and I. So if we don't, if we apply, like, can you apply we, and then figure out a way to work around any of the issues, or just you know, like for that one element of it, without holding it up? Uh, I'm I, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure what we can do. I mean, I, you know, the design in in the design phase, a lot can change. Mm -hmm. There isn't another place we can put uh, an entrance. And there was a lot of thought given to the flow, and and, and the big issue that came up at um, at all the forums we had was the the problem with parking and traffic congestion, and um, and this was a response to that kind of the biggest issue that came up um, so maybe there's a way I mean <clears throat> it'd be nice it'd be a shame to you know put it off because of that one thing you know maybe we can figure out ways to mitigate the issue or you know but 
yeah. in the design. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's screening planned for the entrance and, uh, um, you know, and in the end, I mean, we can leave it out. We'll be, you know, we'd be giving up. It's kind of awkward to ask for the money and then say, oh, never mind, <laughs> um, you know, but, um, but we can definitely, uh, like you know, was we keep moving forwards. Mm -hmm. okay. And I guess my second concern is how how to pay for it, and not not just the uh, seventy five thousand, but uh, the money necessary to maintain the facilities. We ha we just took out what five five thousand dollars, six thousand dollars from the budget because we we didn't have that. So how how are we gonna pay, so how are we how are we gonna pay for a park that and again um, it could turn into more of a regional thing versus just something for the town of Sunday. So how do you, how do you how do you pay for the maintenance of those locations? Yeah, we did have a lot of discussion about that. Yes. Yeah. Did you find an answer. Uh. Well, you know, I mean, we we talked about user fees and things like that. That was probably the, I'm trying to remember what else the. Yeah, uh, what we're doing right now um, is the, the trail uh, would be maintained through volunteer uh, labor and donations. Uh, that there won't be, uh, the only thing we'll need in the near term that is a uh, pile of stone dust pretty much and I think we can get that um, that's that's not a big deal um, the the pathways um, will be paved up, up on the up on the fields will be paved and those won't require much maintenance for a walk for quite a while um, asphalt right Those yeah we're talking about. Um, we've got this agreement with uh, the state to maintain the boat ramp, uh, so we've that's covered. We've got this agreement with U.S. Fish and Wildlife to um, help maintain the vegetation along the riverbank. So um, the the we don't foresee significant maintenance costs until. Uh, Five to ten years out, when there might be some, the the wood, some wood might start to need to be replaced. But but uh, for this this phase, and that this phase doesn't touch the fields, and then you know there's right. no building. But for this phase, the maintenance costs are quite low. I think that was one of the questions they asked was if we had we were able to get like a grasp on like what the difference in maintenance costs was. Right. And um, I know Sherry's looking into, um, she's been talking with other towns and is looking, is collecting information about fees and, and uh, so that, like for the long range, we're, we're taking steps to figure out how to bring in more funds for maintenance. It's very important and everybody knows it. <laughs> Yeah, any companies want to donate to naming rights? I suppose we could yes. work on that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, so I guess we need to take a vote on this, huh? For we need uh, the board to authorize you to sign mm -hmm. the application, and then the resolution has to be um, adopted. Signed and adopted. Okay. Um, any other discussion on this? Or? Yeah. Okay. Uh, any motions? I move move to submit, uh, uh, authorize the chair to sign, and then submit the park grant application as it's for Riverside Park as it's presented. Second for discussion. Okay. Just to understand, Important. and again, my, my thing about the mm -hmm. memorial, it, that memorial has been praised by so many, from so many people as as, a, as one of the finest memorials they've ever, I, I'd hate to detract from something that's done so well 
and that, yeah. that was done through community consensus. So just to let you know, I will be voting no, mm -hmm. um, just to, just so that there aren't, we know. And there's two times to talk about when a vote. To talk about a vote before right. you take the vote, right. and then a time to take after a vote. After a vote, Robert's Rules is not allowed. Mm -hmm. You can talk about why you're making a vote before. Right. I will vote no, not to say I don't believe in the project, but that discussion has to be ha held. Um, and, and I think mm -hmm. I th and I think I think it's an important discussion. Um, and 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 I would I would say to the Pathway Committee that they really want to do that. They really need to talk to the designers of the memorial, and 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 have yeah, them come in, in and sit down and yeah. talk. And and not only that, but did you have com the people from the community you know live next door? Have they come in to talk about it as well? I mean, those, those are the other the, the other things that are important, also. Yeah. That they that they come and and they come, and again, we understand there's public hearings and there's public hearings. So, so that that's why I'll be voting the way I am, not not because I'm against, but I I yeah. I think that we have a jewel, and I'd hate to to ruin that jewel. Yeah, you want to keep the cohesiveness of all the design and everything. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. May I? Hmm? Sorry? Huh? Just so you know, um, the 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 charge that we gave for our landscape architect was to, to do a master plan that like created cohesion among all the elements um, in this whole land, and the veterans memorial is a very important one of that, and that's been it, it's you know been named as an element of this whole complex all along. And I'm just going to add that the, the designer of um, that complex was one of Carlos's professors, and <laughs> he's very aware of the. Um, he's trying to get back because he got a B in <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Because we had we had another we had another student that that uh, that challenged the whole design. So um, I I I get beaten. Yeah. No. No. Uh, <laughs> It's got a lot of respect for the design and and um, very aware of it. So um, you know, I we are that there's a, a a spirit of respect and cohesion and uh, already in the process. Yeah. And I think it's one of those things. I think. You get all the parties together to sit down and discuss it and see what what can be done. I think you know, we can it wasn't what probably come up with something. If I could, Mr. Chair, it mm -hmm. wasn't three years ago. We were revisiting the elms and, yes. and actually From finally, finally seeing them in um, as a mid-story, an arborist would call it, as a mid-story, really um, completes that design in so many ways. It yeah. does. Yeah. Maturing nicely, and hopefully. Well, there was the, the, reason, the reason I raised it is that there was a lot of discussion about alternate trees and there what we do, and uh, yep. much consternation. And, and again, somebody brought the designers back in. They're like, "No, nah, yeah, you never get a chance to see it, right? Because it it takes a while. Right? It's just right. for that to, to right. grow up. Right. So. And the, and this grant, this is a two-year grant, and the first year is for design. Yeah. And at the, the Construction doesn't begin until the second year, so there's a lot of time to, you know, none of the work of the are details, cast in right. stone. And again, this phase is design. Right. Yes. Yeah. So that's our opportunity to get after. We're it. applying for the two years for yeah. both design and construction, but there's there's a whole design phase that, that goes into it. Okay. All right. Um, all those in favor for the for the discussion? Oh. Good. Yep. Yeah. Anything else? I don't know. Oh, no, I have <laughs> nothing else to say. Okay. All right. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Aye. Two to one. Sure. <laughs> so do we have Sorry. to actually read the whereases or the resolution fits legal muster? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of whereases there. <laughs> I can read through it if you want. Yeah. Okay. All right. <clears throat> No, no, I don't know if you have to read the, the whereas is for the application. Okay. I wouldn't think. This is just the application. 
we have a motion uh, two to one for the application, and then the chair is authorized to sign. Okay. okay. All right. A motion to adopt the resolution as presented. Move to adopt the resolution as it's presented. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Two to one. There we go. I remember that time. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Thanks. Um, and there's, you need, okay, so you're going to do the certificate yeah. and um, the certificate record of the vote, the, and application the signed version. Uh, yeah. Okay. And Sherry, um, I'm, I'm, I'll leave this in your custody just in case something happens to me. So. <laughs> okay. What are you planning? <laughs> uh, no, uh, not planning anything, but um, just to be safe, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay. And Thank then you. just mechanically, like, like, like Tom's concern, like what do you think like would be the next step to try to start looking at that, you know, in the, or just what are the next steps in general? Just like real quick. Um, our next step is to put together a um, CPA application just to get that in. Um, and then as far as the um, concerns with um, coordinating with the Veterans Forum, we can, um, uh, we actually already drafted a letter to uh, the abutters yeah. um, uh, telling them where things are at because um, you know, the property is now on the market for sale. Right. Um, but um, um, someone had the suggestion that we should notify the realtor um, mm -hmm. of what we're doing. So we, well, we drafted a letter to the abutters just letting them know, you know where we're at and um, we can invite um, another meeting. Um, we've really overworked the designer. I need to give him a little bit of a rest uh, because yeah. he's like donated a huge amount of time. Yes, it's yeah. a really busy time. So we, we I, I think we've got to take a break probably till the fall to have another meeting on the design. Um, but uh, okay. yeah, and a lot of people are taking breaks now. So, but we can um, most definitely um, you know, start having more discussions even before we know about the grant. We won't know about the grant till November or December. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So folks know like what's going on next after that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.